Hey folks, welcome back. I think I'm going to uh, make a little cardboard container here for the electrolytic caps. You can see here the original documentation, then some great work that had been done by another restore online uh, did the same. And if you recall, and I'll show it in just a minute, those Mallory caps, at least one of them is kind of just floating in the air. So I really want to get these electrolytics kind of back in this area, and I think I'll just use or, you know, make a little small cardboard uh, box, uh, probably about one inch by one inch by three inches in length. See if I can stuff the uh, caps in there, and then route the wiring back over to the rectifier tube and to this bus bar uh, right in this area as well. Okay, here's my plan. We'll see how it works out. Again, I'm going to use this chipboard material that I used. It's the same backing material uh, if you watch the uh, Shanti Clear 2D570 video that I used for the uh, backing material for the grill cloth. And I'm going to just use a single sheet and uh, see if it gives me enough thickness. I've got a really neat uh, template here. It's uh, about one and a half by three by one and a half inches. So. I'm going to use again some of the uh, spray adhesive here and spray it to the back of the uh, template uh, paper, attach it here to the piece of cardboard, and then I'll use my X-Acto knife, cut it out, then we'll put some crease lines here and uh, try to fold this thing up, glue it together, and see what the box looks like. Again, be my first attempt. It may take me a couple tries here to get the uh, desired results. Okay, I've got the adhesive here applied to the back and uh, we'll see what happens here. Get this laid down flat and just rub it in. We'll let that set up uh, just for a few minutes here. I'd already let it get tacky for about uh, 30, 45 seconds. So I think it'll dry. Uh, really quick here, then we'll take the uh, razor again here and start trimming this out. Okay, let's give this another try. Let's see if we can uh, cut this out freehand. Okay, I won't bore you guys on uh, camera here. I'll go ahead and continue this process. Let me get the, uh, the rest of this cut out here, then we'll take a look at it. Okay, I got everything uh, cut out and trimmed, and I'm not going to cut out this circle area here because I want to fold it in and make it uh, nice and tight, but I may end up cutting this out as well, but got everything trimmed up. And I didn't have a uh, scoring uh, device, so, you know, just went to the... Uh, kitchen drawers and pulled out a uh, pizza cutter. Went over these dotted lines here and again that will be my uh, fold or seam lines. So let me uh, work off camera here, try to fold this thing up, get a little bit of glue on a couple places and see what it looks like. Okay I got the uh, box here completed for the electrolytic uh, capacitors. I think it turned out really nice, looks good. Used a little super glue here got the uh, box together and you see I got plenty of room there for the two electrolytic caps that will be uh, stuffed into the box and then we'll uh, dress up the uh, leads and have them come out uh, one of the two ends here I'll punch a hole put a grommet in place and then I still need to put a another piece of cardboard on uh, one of the sides which will extend over to the uh, existing sheet metal uh, locations on the back of the chassis to attach it. So let me go ahead and uh, get the electrolytics uh, dressed up, tested first, stuffed in the box, get my lead dressing out, and uh, we'll have this part of the uh, restoration behind us. Okay, before I go to the trouble of uh, doing my lead dressing and stuff everything into the box and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and just check by both electrolytics as far as the uh, capacitance value. And I'm going to uh, use uh, 10 uh, microfarad caps here rated at 500 volts. And that's what I'll be stuffing in the box. So uh, let me get the meter here set up. And it sounds like we got a helicopter flying over. Uh, 
All right, and you probably noticed too uh, in one of the videos I did yesterday, I picked up these leads a while back and I'd actually forgot I purchased them, but uh, I think they're called parrot leads. And I tell you what, if you can see them, uh, I've only used them now a few times and I love them. Wish I'd have had them uh, a good while back. They uh, really come in handy and uh, make it easy to, uh, to work with. So we'll see if this cap here, there we go, finally charged and ranged. And again, this is just a basic test of the uh, cap. Again, we're not stressing it under uh, power. But you can see there the uh, value itself is right where it should be. So let's just to, uh, repeat this for the other one. Again, you notice I'm uh, observing the uh, polarity here. So the negative here with the air going to the right. And you can see this uh, cap here charging up. And there we go. So it um, looks pretty tight there compared to the uh, label and the uh, specs. So I'll assume that they're good. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the uh, lead dressing on these. We'll get them stuffed into the uh, box and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, completed electrolytic uh, you know, cardboard box and the uh, lead dressing here in just a moment. Okay, I'll try to do this on camera as quick as possible. I just want to show you my uh, lead dressing. I'm going to strip uh, about an inch of the outer jacket of my cable. And again, I'm going to just give it a nice twist here. Get all the uh, single conductors together. Again, you guys probably saw that water bottle I keep by the uh, soldering iron. It's just to keep the sponge nice and wet. Then we'll uh, tan the iron and then apply heat here to the wire itself. And then this will let the solder itself just flow back toward the, uh, the lead. You can see it there. Now I'm just tanning this, uh, this piece of lead. And that's all it takes. We'll let that cool just for a second. Then I'm going to use the uh, coil method. Again, I've just got a little small screwdriver here. Place the lead here and uh, just wrap it around numerous times. Creates a nice little uh, coil. Grab my other cutters here. Cut this off. And again, this is my negative lead. And again, observing the uh, polarity, the negative here is uh, back to the right again with the arrow pointing in this direction. See if I can get this through here. And let's see. Let's get my box over here. Just kind of a visual how I want to do the stuffing in the box. I think I got room for these side by side, so I'll probably uh, just go here. And I'm going to actually use this clip right here as a heat sink. And again, I think the soldering iron's already been tinned. We'll heat this up and just let the solder run toward the uh, the uh, coil and the lead. Okay, we should be good. Let me grab a little piece of heat shrink here. Once that cools, we'll throw it on there. And uh, we'll cut this off. If you guys are doing this, be sure you just follow all the uh, safety guidelines that are recommended. But you can see there I've got a really nice connection now. And as far as my lead dressing, I'm going to run, leave this just a little bit long because I'm not really sure where my tie-in point is. I think there's a, uh, a terminal strip there. Let me uh, just grab a piece of shrink here. Let 
Okay, and that's what we've got. Let me just uh, see if I can get this going here with one hand. It's just a little uh, micro torch. Here we go. Comes in really handy. So I'm going to just stand this up like this, hopefully it's showing up on camera, and uh, just work this back and forth, applying some heat. And just work it down here in this area, and then just kind of run it back up. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, continue that process off camera, and we'll do the positive lead dress it up, get these placed in the box, and then we'll look at how we want the lead dressings to come through the uh, box itself. And we'll get that back piece mounted on the box also so we can get it reattached to the uh, chassis of the radio. Okay, I think I've decided on my lead dressing. I am going to use this uh, open chute here and run my uh, leads out through. So what I'm going to do is just uh, eyeball it here and put a small hole kind of right here in the middle. I'm going to just use my uh, screwdriver. Okay, and I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and we'll just cut a X. I'm just kind of guessing right now on the uh, size. solder irons cool down. I'll just use this to uh, push through. And I'll probably need to make that just a little bit bigger. So let me work that off camera. Grab a grommet. We'll run these leads through and we'll take a look at it. Okay, I've got the uh, capacitor box built and the uh, leads dressed. And again, you'll notice up for now, I've got uh, some tie wraps here just to indicate uh, what positive lead, what negative lead goes to each individual uh, electrolytic capacitor. I've got the uh, grommet put in that I mentioned and use some spray adhesive here. Uh, put a couple uh, pieces of uh, cardboard here together and uh, glued it to the uh, back. So uh, the way this will mount in will be just like you're seeing it here. So I think it turned out uh, pretty well. Again, if I need to gain access, I just flip this uh, open here. And uh, take, the, of course, the screws out. And I can just pull the caps out and uh, service the uh, capacitors. Anyway, it looks like this should keep them uh, kind of tucked away and um, make for a, a neater restore. Let's get it uh, mounted to the back side of the uh, chassis and see what it looks like. Okay, you're looking now at the cardboard box with the two new electrolytic caps in them. And I think it turned out pretty well. I've just got one fastener for now and I'm going to remove this so I can get in here and start really doing some detail cleaning underneath the uh, chassis itself. But, uh, you know, you can see what a mess this repair was. Uh, check this out. You've got uh, bare wire here. And uh, this is the uh, the plus side of the cap. So it's amazing, uh, you know, this thing didn't catch on fire at some point in time. So I think this is uh, this going to work out really well. Again, these two electrolytics will be cut out. Um, and I'm going to just stuff the, uh, not stuff, but just replace the existing uh, wax caps in here as well. With just regular uh, modern day caps. But I uh, just wanted to show you what that looks like. I might throw that uh, part number on here as well, uh, just for future reference. And again, the uh, lead dressing I showed here, I've got everything coming out this side. 
uh, instead of wrapping back around and having the uh, high voltage coming over the top of the tuning cap. I think this is cleaner in this orientation. So, uh, hey, hope you enjoyed this quick video on the electrolytic uh, prep for this radio. I'll get this cut out, this cut out, and start getting these caps out one by one. Clean up the uh, bottom side of the uh, chassis, then uh, get started on the all the crud and stuff up on the top as well. I may try to fire this thing up before the end of the weekend. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.